Hey, this is Dr. K from I Medical School, here to go over a USMLE practice question. Make sure to check out our other medical videos at our YouTube channel, I Medical School. Let's begin with our question. A 63-year-old male who recently quit smoking tobacco returns from a cruise ship with shortness of breath, fever, and diarrhea. His symptoms become so severe, he seeks medical attention at his local ER. During his workup, his chest x-ray shows a unilobar pneumonia. His labs are significant for a serum sodium of 126 with a normal creatinine. What is the most likely diagnosis? Is it A, streptococcus pneumoniae, B, mucormycosis, C, Norwalk virus, D, Legionella pneumophila, or E, Staphylococcus aureus. We'll pause here to think about your answer, but we'll go ahead and talk about the correct answer. The correct answer is D, Legionella pneumophila. Now let's see how we came to that answer. Whenever we try to tackle a text question, it is important to take a quick view of the key portions in the stem of the question. We have an elderly smoker with symptoms of pneumonia and diarrhea who has been on a cruise ship recently and presents with hyponatremia. Let's begin by first going to the answer choices and eliminate them one by one. Let's begin with choice A, streptococcus pneumoniae. Strep pneumonia is one of the most common causes of community acquired pneumonia, but understand the stem of the question does not seem to describe a typical pneumonia. Usually streptococcus pneumoniae does not cause a gastrointestinal illness and is rare to develop hyponatremia. If the stem had presented typical pneumonia symptoms and asked what was the most likely cause of the pneumonia, then strep would have been right. But here we see a patient with some atypical features. Next, let's take choice B. Mucormycosis is a type of fungus that tends to cause oropharyngeal and pulmonary infections in immunocompromised patients and diabetics. Mucor is described as an irregularly broad-based fungi with rare septations. The typical question stem will describe a diabetic with black-appearing sinus mucosa, or Escher, due to the necrosis when mucor invades the tissue. The symptoms described in our question do not fit this picture, making it unlikely. Choice C is Norwalk virus. Whenever the words cruise ship and diarrhea appear in the stem of a question, the knee-jerk reaction is to think of Norwalk virus. It is important to remember that Norwalk virus tends to cause primarily gastrointestinal issues and does not cause pulmonary issues. If a stem describes someone who had been on a cruise ship and has diarrhea with multiple members of that ship also being infected, the first thing you should think of is Norwalk virus. It is important to note that patients infected with Norwalk can pass on the infection up to four weeks after contracting the illness, despite resolution of their symptoms. Given our patient had both pulmonary and gastrointestinal symptoms, this makes Norwalk virus unlikely, though it is a very good thought. Next, we come to choice D, Legionella pneumophila. Legionella pneumophila is a well-known bacteria that causes both pulmonary symptoms and can cause gastrointestinal symptoms. Remember that many patients with Legionella may not have gastrointestinal symptoms, but this is a commonly tested constellation of symptoms that points towards Legionella. In addition, profound hyponatremia is also associated with Legionella. Legionella was first described when veterans at a convention center all came down with a pneumonia of unclear etiology. They found that Legionella in an air conditioning system had led to widespread infection at the convention. Legionella is commonly treated with azithromycin or fluoroquinolone. Immunocompromised patients should be treated with a fluoroquinolone because of the broad coverage. Remember, the constellation of a pneumonia GI symptoms, and profound hyponatremia is highly suggestive of Legionella, especially if the person infected has a history of lung disease or smoking. Lastly, let's talk about choice E. Staph aureus has been associated with both community-acquired and hospital-acquired pneumonia. It generally occurs in patients who have staph aureus colonization of the skin. 
In addition, a common testing point is that patients will develop staph aureus pneumonia after getting over a pulmonary viral infection. The stem does not paint a picture that would be consistent with a staph aureus infection, making choice E wrong and choice D Legionella the best answer. Remember, pneumonia with diarrhea and hyponatremia is most likely Legionella. Well, that was a brief review of a USMLE Step 1 practice question. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a like. Please share the video with your friends and classmates. Plus, any comments down below, and most importantly, subscribe. This is Dr. K from My Medical School, and I'll see you next time.